Hey guys, this is Carlos, your director of sport performance. And this week's exercise pro is going to be a squat with upper and lower extremity um, instability challenges. Your first uh, exercise is going to be an upper extremity instability challenge so that we can master doing the squat on a level surface. Here I have a body blade. Using this body blade, I'm going to create some instability, some perturbation movements while doing a squat. So making sure when you go into a squat, you want to make sure that you have your feet in the correct place. You want to go feet shoulder width apart, maybe just outside the hips. From this position here, you want to stay as upright as possible, keeping your stomach engaged and shoulders uh, going backwards or retracted. From this position here, I'm going to have the body blade right in front of my chest here. I'm as upright as possible. I'm going to begin by moving the body blade. That's going to create stability in my shoulders. From this position here, I'm going to go ahead and continue into my squat. That means my hip action first, keep my knees in line, keep moving that body blade, going down, hips parallel to the ground, and right back up. Again, just moving, squatting, and right back up, creating that stability. That's one movement. Other movement here, again, I got arms lateral. Um, going into that squat again, I begin by moving my body blades first. So my arms are now working independently. And I'm going to go right into my squat. Shoulders upright, core engaged, and going into my squat. Keep moving that body blade, stable on the shoulders, shoulders upright, and right back up. So that's upper extremity instability. Now, once you've mastered that, on a level surface, you can now create instability in your lower extremities. Here I have two plyo discs. This is going to challenge both legs independently. You can use foam rollers, you can use towel rolls, um, you can use a BOSU ball um, to create some instability as well if you don't have plyo discs. Again, I'm going to incorporate both at the same time. I have my plyo discs again in line with my hips. Again, I put my feet right in the middle, making sure that my feet don't come forward or backwards. I want to find that neutral position. Once you find that neutral position, you are, again, ready to begin your squat. From this position here, core engaged, hips going backwards, sitting on my heel. I'm going to begin by moving the body blade first, going into that squat, core engaged, everything stable, and right back up. Again, I can do the other variation as well going lateral out to the side, again on my plow discs, moving the, the body blades independently, and going into my squat. Core engaged, always keeping your shoulders upright, chest up and wide, sitting down, and coming right back up. Now that is a variation, I'm going to show you from the side really quickly, so you see what that squat looks like. I'll show you with the anterior posterior movement. Getting onto that plow disc, again, making sure you're in the correct position there. See if I can get it. Here we go. Body blade movement, core tight, shoulders up, going down. Get that squat, core, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and right back up. Again, that is your squat with upper extremity and lower extremity instability. Make sure that you master the squat on a level surface before you create some instability underneath your feet. This is your weekly exercise pearl. Look for more exercises to come.